Crime is said to be a major election issue, and News Hub can reveal Labour's losing that battle. Despite the continuous stream of announcements to tackle the ram raid problem, our latest News Hub Read Research poll shows a clear majority of Kiwis think the government's failing to get on top of it. Here's political editor Jenna Lynch with the exclusive numbers. Getting suitably suited up to meet with the Sikh community yesterday. <laughs> there we go. Sitting in to listen to their concerns, then standing to address the elephant in the room, crime. Particularly with things like ram raids and smash and grabs that we have seen far too many of recently. You can say that again, the community has had enough. They have seen, you know, rise of ram raids and concerns are for safety. I'm working at a gas station, so my wife is also working at a gas station. So sometimes, you know, the customers like that, they are doing uh, ram raids, taking the stuff from us. We are scared. With electoral consequences at stake. We are about somebody else but not a Labour. The government recently announced a swathe of new consequences for offenders, covering everything from new youth justice facilities to specific offences for ram raiding. No, not really enough. It is too late, definitely. You know, I would say they would be looking now to damage control. I acknowledge that um, there's certain heightened anxiety around some forms of crime at the moment, so around youth offending. Um, we've been working on tackling that. But the public doesn't see enough tackling taking place. Oh, there's always more to be done in the law and order space. In our latest New Subread research poll, we asked, is the government doing enough to address the ram raid problem? Only 27.6% said yes, while a clear majority, 62.2%, said no. The rest didn't know. Do you think the public has confidence in your government when it comes to crime? Uh, yes, I, well, I believe they should. I think the public can have confidence that we acknowledge their concern around things like ram raids and escalation and gang tensions and that we are doing something about it. Hoping, wishing, praying that the first step to solving the problem is acknowledging you have one. Jenna joins us now. Kia ora, Jenna. The Prime Minister today confirmed that Labour has a paid parental leave announcement coming soon. So what do we know that they'll put up? So when the government killed off Nationals' proposed flexi paid parental leave policy last week that aimed to give parents more time together with their newborn baby should they wish to do so, you can only imagine the torrent of feedback that ended up in Labor, uh, Labor MPs' inboxes with outrage from some that the government thought it knew best and some of that language that they were using around the benefits of breastfeeding, the implied pressure that that would have put on mothers and the implied expectation that it would be mothers staying at home. Chris Hipkins used uh, different language today and did say that they are looking to improve paid parental leave, but this wasn't the bill to do it. He said he does want parents to be able to spend more time with their kids, though. One area they could look to improve is partner's leave. So currently, the secondary parent, the one that's not on paid parental leave, is entitled to up to two weeks' leave when their baby's born. That is unpaid. Watch out for Labour potentially trying to introduce paid leave for the partner and even looking to increase that two-week entitlement as it looks to replant its stake in the ground over young parents. A political editor, Jen Lynch, Tinakwe.